Okay, before we do that, Mehmet's showing off now. So that 3D image that just flashed up on the screen there gives you a true depth indication. So here we go. So let's take a look at what we found. So Nocta are always innovating. We're always moving forward. We are the fastest growing business in the industry. Please welcome to the arena, Dilek, Vice President of Nocta Macro Detection Technology. Uh, first of all, I apologize for disappointing some of you guys. Uh, I know maybe you would wish a bikini girl to come out of that hall, <laughs> but hey, we'll make it up for it with some exciting news today. Uh, sorry, I'm out of breath. It, it got pretty hot in there. So uh, let me introduce myself uh, first. My name is Dilek, and I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Nocta and Macro Detectors. The uh, sponsor of Detectable 2018 and the fastest growing company in the industry right now. <clears throat> Before I show you guys some of the products we have in the pipeline, um, I would like to make an important announcement. Um, effective this month, we will no longer develop and produce products under two separate brands. We will move forward uh, consolidate the brands and all the products launched will be um, branded and uh, labeled with our new Nocta Macro logo. With that being said, here is our first Nocta Macro product, the Amphibio. The Amphibio features, this is a waterproof product up to five meters. It features our new 11-inch coil design. Very ergonomic, very balanced, new settings, and the product is ready to be shipped next month. So guys, come and check it out at our marquee, and if you're interested, you can check with your dealers on the exact shipping dates at the end of the month. Now, comes our second product our scuba pointer this is a patent pending product guys and what's cool about it is this is a two-in-one device it's a scuba and a pointer in one but at the price of one um, this product can be used on land and underwater and the pin pointer has wireless capability, which is compatible with our popular models, including the Cruiser series and uh, Amphibio and the products moving forward. <clears throat> Guys, here comes the third one, our future product. <clears throat> this is called the Simplex. Why do we call it the Simplex? Because it's simple enough for beginners and professional enough for experts who want a really good backup <laughs> detector or for people who simply don't want to spend a lot of money on a detector. Waterproof. Entry level detector. When I say entry level, I uh, we're looking at like anywhere between 250 to 400 dollars. Okay, waterproof has built-in wireless. Okay, and the, um, the um, higher version will also be updatable. Uh, this product we're planning to launch early next year. This baby here, guys, looks like the Simplex, but actually it doesn't even have a name right now. And why is that? Our customers around the world have been asking our company to develop a simultaneous frequency detector from us. Now, do we believe simultaneous frequency is the best solution? And the answer is, it really depends on the conditions and your needs, guys. Single frequency detectors and simultaneous frequency detectors 
they all have their own advantages. But since people have been asking us to develop one, we started working on it. But we want to take a different approach this time. So we want to build this detector, its features and its settings based on your needs, what you want to see in it. So we are inviting everybody to come and join us at one of our Q&A sessions, of which the first one will be held today between 3 and 5 p.m. at our marquee. And the second one will be held um, between 11 and 1 tomorrow. Please come. Ask us any questions you want about our company, about our products, and then fill out a form giving us suggestions for the features and the settings. You want to see this see in this multi-frequency detector and also suggest a name for it. And once it's all done, the features, the unique features suggested by people and that are used in the detector, these guys will be honored on our website and on social media. And the person who comes up with the coolest name for our future simultaneous frequency detector will win a free one. This is Search a Puff Taxi. We got any seats for us in the back? Proper seats. You see them drive? Yeah. Push can I? Hey guys, been out swinging on this road field that uh, detectable about 20 minutes now. And I've got my first Roman. Came in, in between 20 and 30 on the audio. I don't think there's much on it, but I'll give it away. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. So, uh, there it is, cleaned off of it. It is a Roman, you can tell. That's his head there, look. Just there. Possibly. Oh, there he is. There he is. Where are you going, love? You've got, to, you've got to do the Roman fist bump with us. Yay! On the blooming Romans with Mr. and Mrs. Anglo Celtic. <laughs> On the Romans, Don! Got Roman, there's Dick and Dawn. Yay! Hey. <laughs> okay, what, what's your name? Nicola. Nicola? Yes. And uh, you've got a Roman artifact there? Yes, Roman tool. Okay. That's one. And what have you got there, mate? I think I've got another one here. Yes. Got another Roman. What's your name? My name is Tomasz. Where have you come from? Uh, Edinburgh, originally from Poland. Ah, oh, Polish guy. Polish guy. Okay. Edinburgh, Scotland. <laughs> Scott, he's a Scottish Polish I'm guy. Scottish Polish. <laughs> Happy days. Where have okay. you come from, Nicola? France, Paris. Oh! Yes. Vive la Paris! Vive Paris, champion du monde! I've not been to Paris for a while. Okay, well done, Nicola. Thanks. Good, good luck for the rest of the day. You've done any swinging out here today yet? Yeah, yeah, I've worked my way round. Rampant. Rampant? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Rampant. Yeah, mate. Jordan Button. It is woman's hat on, he's rampant. What did you find? Oh, it's just a few buttons, fine. A few buttons for Jordan Button. I did half an hour and I got one Roman bronze, Jordan. Lovely. And now, me and Rach are going for a, a bit of R&R, &R, whatever that means, rest and relaxation, <laughs> and sightseeing. sightseeing, catching up with our, um, our Greek friend Costas this evening, having a nice uh, meal. Tomorrow I'm coming back for the Not The Macro Q&A. Going to give them all the top input from the world's foremost detectorist here. I'll, I'll show them what to do tomorrow because they need some answers apparently. What will you be doing tomorrow, Jod? I'm going to be um, on the Saxon field. Knee deep. Rampant. Rampant. Knee deep and rampant <laughs> Knee deep on the Saxon and rampant. field. <laughs> That's it. Would you like to give anyone a shout out? Yeah. Um, Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut a minute, uh. <laughs>
What about your mum and dad? They're not on Facebook. This is going on YouTube. Is it? They're not on that either. It's on the telly. <laughs> if it's on Channel One, they might get it. Right, shout out to your mum and dad. What are the names? Oh no, mum and dad. <laughs> mum and dad. <laughs> Mister and Mrs Button. Shout out. Shout out. Put that cheese sandwich down and get subscribed to Anglo Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> Come detect them all. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just in the village of Burford and we're just going to have a look at this little old mosque, I mean church, because uh, Anglo Celtic. Not, not all about detecting, we've got to get out and see some of this lovely English countryside. Mm -hmm. My new bride. We're going to do a bit of sightseeing now. We'll get back to Detectable for the knocked out macro questions and answers tomorrow. So I'll go and show you a bit of this church and stuff. The gardens are meant to be really nice. Lots of like really old graves here by the looks of them. Yeah. Old, old merchants, old merchants. Old wool merchants' graves. Burford was, like all these Cotswold towns, integral to the wool trade. Lovely. Yeah. George Harris there. Grandfather of George Harrison of the Beatles fame. <laughs> he had a band that was called Sacred. There's the river over there, is it, darling? Yeah, if you were a bit further down, there's a stream over there. Oh, it's there. nice, isn't it? There's a little uh, duck over there. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a fish in there, you probably won't pick it up on this camera. Probably a little trout or something like that. You can actually see the bottom of this river. It would be interesting to find out if we could actually get detecting permission to go in there with the amphibio or the cruiser. It's absolutely lovely. It's like an old leet, a little offshoot of the river there. Very ancient little gate onto the side of the river. Hear the water running. on the back of the church now. It's lovely, well, well kept grounds. We're going to go into Burford uh, village itself now and have a pint I think. So that's the lovely cottage where we're staying at. And uh, this is the high street just here. Very busy. We're going to find a pub. This little pub down the back street called the Angel. Heard that it's uh, 16 guineas a pint in here, love. <laughs> <laughs> 